Got a pretty important update for you here, guys, this morning. This is the my controller. You've all seen my setup, and you know where this is on the wall. And this is why I always put the concrete backer board behind it, and also the wooden. And you can see the heat sink has saved me here. But this thing went on fire yesterday, and I have no idea why that happened. The two solar panels that are um, combined in this are nowhere close to creating even 20 amps. You can see it's 100 volt, 20 amps, and nowhere near 100 volts. There are two, one's a 110 watt, and the other one's a two, 210 watt at 12 volts. So they're not even close to 100 volts of input, maybe 24, something like that combined. And um, nowhere near 20 amps. I think they're around, uh, you know, we have them in series. So we're, we're adding the voltage, but we're keeping the amps. The amperage, I think, was around 5, between 5 and 7. Because it goes to the lowest comes. But look at this. Look at this. Thank God this didn't cause any more of a problem because the inverter sits above this on my setup. Look at the older videos. And look at that. I mean, it freaking burned. Thank God I was looking this morning to see what my voltage, what my wattage was, and it seemed awful low. And when I went into my little control room there, I, you could smell it. Uh, but it burned right through these screws. Have a look at these wires. Here's your positive here from this guy, fused to the screw, absolutely destroyed it on the interior, and melted down through the wire. It even melted a little bit of the, um, the little Victron data cable that plugs in here. So that little white uh, outlet there, I melted that as well, a little piece of it. So I'll have to replace that too. And look at the ground. Holy crap. Very fortunate this morning, guys have to understand what the hell happened in a non-changing environment. It doesn't appear we had any issue going through the copper. So this was not, and these are outbound wires, right? Out from the controller heading down to the batteries. And um, here's another little puzzling element, right? So right here is your fuse holding. Here's the fuse. Does that look pop to you? It doesn't look pop to me. I'm going to put an ohm meter on this now. But whatever this was did not trip the fuse. Holy shit. What was this? I mean, Victron is excellent. This shocks the shit out of me. My little uh, GNDL inverter is perfect. All the switches are perfect. The brake, no breakers went off. Also upset about that. So I'll be adding another another breaker in the loop somehow, maybe between the panels and this. Was it an issue from the panels coming in? I don't think so because the um, the panel inputs, well, the positive is a little bit fried, but this looks like it's strictly on what this thing was trying to send out to the battery. It just shit all over itself. That's where most of the heat is. And um, wow, definitely a concern. So let's see. Gonna reach out to Victron and see if they can give me any indication. Maybe I can send this in for diagnostic. But damn, lucky man today. Thank God this didn't set that board on fire, set the room on fire, and burn down the friggin' house. Wow.